I have enough mud here in this bucket to do the soffit too. But when I'm doing a soffit, a long soffit like this, you're going to want to stand over here. What I like to do is get some mud up there first. And then I take another pan full and I fill it in. Alright? So I get some mud up there and then I fill it in. Alright? I have enough mud up there. One, two. So I'm going to stop right there. And then I flare my edge. I flare my edge all the way down. And then I'll wipe it out. That mud's dropping in my pan, by the way, guys. It's not laying on the floor. He just doesn't, he's just not showing it. He's showing me what I'm doing up there, but the, the really neat thing was all oh, that mud just landed right in my pan. Now I'll show you the other side of the socket too. Now I'll do that. And, wow, that mud sure didn't last long. Almost a full bucket for one column in part of a socket. Wow, it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of mud. And I don't have enough mud there. So normally I would have mudded the top all the way down and then I would have started on that side and I would have worked my way back to this side. That's normally what I would have done. But uh, I've never been normal in my life. <laughs> I don't know what normal is. What's normal? And then again, too, you can do this also. You can do that, then you can take this and like that. That, that makes it nice and full. I'm going to clear my edge. All right, and now I have to wipe it out. And then I clean my edge up here. That's where I have a, this is where I have the two pieces that are, are buttoned together, right here. There's a little bit of an offset here, but once this dries, I'll be able to take that out really easily. It's not gonna be an issue. And you, I don't know if you, you didn't see what I just did. The camera's probably not picking it up, but I had a little bit of an edge here, bigger of an edge here, and I just back cut my edge. So now the edge is on top of the mud, and that's much easier to dust off than the edge that's right on the edge of the dry, on the edge of the mud. So if I have an edge right here where the mud and the drywall meet, that's much harder to get, to, to get rid of than when you have an edge on top of the mud itself. So when I'm able to take this edge and then back, back cut it a little bit like that and put it on top of the drywall, that's much easier to get rid of than an edge here. So that's what I do. All right, that's all. We need to have to really get back to work if we want to finish the top of this job today. We've taped it, and I want to get it top today too. So you have a great day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.